one of the things that I'm going to end up doing today is getting a sample of our water to be able to test it for bacteria and it's one of the things that I have to turn into the health department to get uh, final close out on my permit so I just ended up I wish I had filmed it but I was in the process of trying to keep everything dry and, uh, and trying to get water you know out of a yard hydrant is kind of tough but anyway this is the uh, this is the sample that I have and I was supposed to fill it up to the 100 milliliter line, which is about where my thumb is on there. And I just got it out of the yard hydrant. One of the things I had to do first was let the yard hydrant run for about five minutes. And I ended up just doing it not all the way open because there's way too much water. I collected all the water that was coming out of there in buckets and took it over to the compost pile just to wet it down and not to waste any of the water. So the next thing is, is I have to drive this sample to the lab. It's about uh, 30 minutes away and you're supposed to take the sample and, and submit it to the testing laboratory in the same day. So it's about, I think it's about one o'clock. So got this done. And so now it's time to drive there and submit it. Well, I made it to the lab and it's just my luck because you know, like they say on Swan Branch, nothing's ever easy. So. Today is Friday and I got here, it's about two o'clock and here are the hours for Friday. Friday, nine to 12. So I guess I should have came two and a half hours earlier or one of the last four days. So I'm not sure what I have to do now. I guess I'll just be uh, getting another sample and try to do it in the same day. Well, I know I left off in the last video uh, where I'd taken the water sample to the lab and they were closed. Well, I was able to get a, another sample bottle. And so I'm back here today to actually try to get another sample and take it to the lab in the same day. That's one of the requirements is sample needs to be delivered to the lab the same day it's taken. So the first step that we're going to do is to run some water through the hydrant. Uh, the directions say we're supposed to run it for five minutes. So we're going to do that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and open the yard hydrant and we're just going to gently bring it out for five minutes. So I'm going to let it run like that for five minutes and then I'll be able to take the sample at the end of that five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the sample. I just have to remove the uh, cap off of the bottle here. It's got a, a wrapper on it, so it can't be tampered with. And there's got a, a little bit of a white powder in there. I'll have to look it up and see what it is. So it's something sulfate, I forget what it is. But we have to get a sample that gets it right up to the 100 milliliter mark. So let's see if we can get it done here. And that's all it is. We just had to get it up to that mark and I've got it a little bit above it. So that should leave enough room for the lab to be able to do the, the sample. Uh, I really wish I knew more about it and maybe I'll do some research about it. But the biggest thing is, is I want to get this tested and make sure that we can start drinking it with no problem. I'll follow up when we uh, get to the lab or when we get the lab results back okay I just dropped off my sample at Blue Ridge Analytical and it was uh, pretty painless uh, the fee for testing for this was $45 and I should get the results emailed to me by Friday today's Wednesday so pretty good turnaround time I'll let you know what we find out well, a few days went by, and on that Friday, I did receive the results of the laboratory test. And I've got it on the screen here to show you, you know, what the results are. The coliform total came back as being present, and you do not want that. Thankfully for E. coli, it was absent. So quickly after that, I had to make a decision on what to do next. So I called the soil scientist that helped me 
uh, positioned the well and also that did the, all the work for my drain field. So we actually ended up meeting on the property a couple days later and he did the exact same testing procedure that I had done before. There was one critical difference that I noticed the way he did it versus the way I did it. He opened the bottle quickly, put the water in and closed it quickly. And when I looked back at my video, I took my time and I talked while the lid was off of the sample bottle. After doing some research, and I'm showing you some of that on the screen too, it says to quickly get collect the sample. And so I found out that you can actually get a positive or a present coliform sample just by exposing it to the air. So that's just another thing that I've learned through this process and I've got that in the back of my head if I can ever help somebody else out. Hopefully just having this video out there for people will save somebody some time if they're trying to do some of these things themselves. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching the video and take a second to subscribe and support us on our journey. Follow us along and see if you can learn some stuff through our mistakes. We're making plenty of them and we'll try to show you those as we go along with our successes. We appreciate you watching the video and we'll see you next time.